I am on my way to Goodwill to go shop with my friend Mikey Bags of Money. But first, I have a few things to drop off at the post office. Yes. What is that monstrosity up there? Oh my god, it's a doll <laughs> and a dress. I'm gonna, oh, did they just bring a fresh rack? Oh, we gotta go over there and see what they got. So did you see the guy over there had this in his hand and he put it back and I was just, I was holding my breath. Because you know what this is? Yeah. I am on my way to Goodwill to go shop with my friend Mikey Bags of Money. But first, I have a few things to drop off. At the post office. Yes, that is that is all outgoing packages. And so I am at the bulk mailing drop-off spot for the uh, Las Vegas Postal Service. And um, I'm going to get this stuff out of my car and on its way to its destinations. So first that. <laughs> Goodwill and I see my friend Mikey Bags of Money lurking in the background. <sighs> I do like this Goodwill and I always find great things so I'm excited to get in there and see what I can find today. So let's go. Let's get shop done. Mikey, let's go get shop done. Oh, let's get some shop done. Let's get wait. some shop done. We got some lucky carts over here. Lucky carts. I never take the ones that are right here. To me, lucky. it's it's already been kind of, the luck's kind of worn out a little bit. So I got to get one that's back here in the back. Yes. What is that monstrosity up there? Oh my God, it's a doll <laughs> and a dress. A doll and a dress. I can't even, I can't even with that. <laughs> it's $26. It's, I know it's $26 of monstrosity. Oh, no. oh, what was the color today? Blue. Blue. Look at these are solid marble. It's heavy. Oh, they're heavy. Yeah. Yep. Eight buckaroonies, but I think they're worth it. Let's see, what other goodies? Some dolphins. I'm gonna get this right here. What'd you see? Oh, there, there you go. It's in decent condition. We did. We had. We sold one just like this. That same kind of line. Very cool. So, Very cool. Yeah. Bag it. it. Bag it. <laughs> Is this true? Is this true, Mikey? No, give him a sandwich. No, give him a sandwich. <laughs> he said give him a sandwich is a better better way to handle that. I have no mm. shame in my getting old. It's kind of fun. Me neither. Me neither. Older and wiser. We watch the kids making all the mistakes that we made. We go, <laughs> you'll learn. Oh, yes, you'll sure. learn. <laughs> I think uh, somebody had like a retirement party and uh, donated yeah. all of their little signs here. Oh, little uh, siesta guy. Ooh, little ooh, siesta cookie jar. Yeah, he's only $4.99, I think. I'm going to put him in the cart. I'm kind of thinking this is here because maybe it didn't work. It's a dud. It's a nice little Mexican pottery piece. I don't know what all those little symbols stand for. $3.99. It's kind of interesting. I mean, I don't know. Not quite high end enough for me today. Um, a fresh rack. I'm gonna, oh, did they just bring a fresh rack? Oh, we got to go over there and see what they got. Okay, so we raided the new cart. I just got some fun stuff. Uh, this is a bank with these fun seagulls on it. I just, I like it. It's it's really kind of cheaply made, but there's something very, very appealing about those guys. 
And then they've got a little matching seagull guy here. I've got to re-glue that little ship's wheel on there, I think. I don't know. Oh, he's got, he's drooling. He is drooling. He is, he's drooling oh, just a little bit. Boy. I don't know if I can get that off of there, but I don't know. I'm going to be silly and I'm going to get him to go along with the other ones. Maybe I'll sell them together. So do you see the guy over there had this in his hand and he put it back and I was just, I was holding my breath because you know what this is? No, it is original Melmac. Ooh. It's the original Melmac. That's the one that's worth some money. I see it, score. All right, back to our regularly scheduled shelf. <laughs> see those new racks? You got to go over. You got to get over there and you got to scoop up what you see. He's cute, but we'll pass. And this went with a party light. Now, this always makes me think that the actual party light piece may have gotten separated. Um, blue sky. I'm going to just hold on to this and see if I can find the piece that goes with it. Mikey found the coolest, the coolest beer tap in the shape of a dolphin, but you're going to have to go over and watch his take on this little shopping trip in order to see what that looks like. How about that for a teaser? Mikey, did you walk right on by this gal right here? Nice to meet you. I did. I know. Look at her. Look at her. She's not doesn't have a name. But do you really need a name when you look like that for $4.99? I don't think so. It's a sparkly elephant. Okay. Again, it's just one of those things that makes a really good giveaway. And she's really, really adorable. Even though she's a little single, but we'll rescue her. It's kind of a nice piece of pottery and everything, but the time it would take for me to try to figure out who done it and words to list it, um, I'll let somebody else do that. I'll let somebody else. Ooh, it's kind of a cute loose change bank. Ooh, it's pretty loose. It's pretty, it's pretty <laughs> loose. <laughs> Oh, we got some raw, call it raw pottery. I get in trouble for calling it what I used to know it as, so I won't say that anymore. We'll call it raw pottery. Ooh, look at you, beautiful. Look at the handles, are little sparkly starfish. Who makes you? Oh, you're a mud pie. Mud pie is like a boutique brand. It's a pretty nice brand, so for $5.99, we're going to grab that. We're gonna bag it. Bag it. <laughs> All right, this has been a pretty good first row. Ooh, elephants, elephant salt and pepper shakers. And we do have both of them, even though they're priced individual, we're still gonna pick them up because it's four bucks. These will probably bring 12 to $15 for me. That's, that, that would hold a lot of whiskey. That glass right there, that's a, that's a large size whiskey That's glass. That's serious. That's a serious. Maybe it's for the woman having all the hot flashes. Oh, yes. They need the cold <laughs> drinks. What is this one? Goodness. I think it's a candle oh, holder. I see it, yeah. Yes. These are um, Pioneer Woman. Ooh. Pretty sure. The colored ones do better than the clear. Oh, look at this. It's got a little bee on it. Ooh. I'm not exactly oh. sure what its purpose is. It looks like it went on something, like a, like a jar, like a, yeah. probably a honey jar. I don't know. I, but $3.99 for a thing that we don't even know what it yes. is though. I know, can't I do it. Yeah, yeah, can't do it. This piece says Mikasa, Austria. Whoa. Uh, but again, Oh, I didn't mean to do that. What is it? Unknown, unknown. What is it? I don't know. Maybe for a dollar I'm going to get it and figure out because that's the half price color. Ooh. So for a buck, Austria. You don't see that often. I could get it and figure out what it is. 
That's actually a nice, feel the cut on that. It's not, oh, yeah, it's not you. your common everyday kind of candle holder, but it would be better if there was two. <gasps> How did I not see that? Hello. Oh, boy. Hello. Little turtly, oh, turtly tortoises. What are you? You're just a candle holder. You're pottery. You're super cool. Coming home with me. This is the shelf that just keeps on giving. Oh, darn. Broken handle. Otherwise, I definitely would have taken the piece of dragonware. Hand painted Japan. Really nice piece, but it is broken. All right, now I'm looking just to see if I'm missing like the piece that that little honey jar piece goes to. It might be here somewhere. It might be here somewhere. Gosh, there are just some really weird pieces here today. Yeah, no. Okay. We'll put you back. Oh, I think he was here the last time we were here. I remember there being a little broken Santa. And the Christmas stuff sticks around a while uh, because they never put the black tags on half price. So there's things here for a very long time in the holiday stuff. Ooh, little kitty. Oh, he's like a beanie. He's a $5.99 beanie baby. Hopeful, very, very, very hopeful. Very, very hopeful. Let's see what we got over here. Yeah, looking like they haven't put a whole lot of new stuff out in the uh, Christmas section for a while. Which is fine. I really don't need any Christmas stuff. I'm going to do a Christmas in July sale and I have lots of Christmas stuff waiting for that. Just waiting. Oh, the Hanukkah cake plate's still here too. Definitely not something I would want to be shipping. Chicken bucket. What is going on with this? It's full of something. It's a, it's a satchel in a bag. Let's see. Let's see if I can get it open. It's got a satchel in a bag. What's in it? Oh, the suspense. Here it comes. Oh, actually, <laughs> those are vintage chess pieces. Those are vintage chess pieces. Huh. Now the question, do I take them all out to make sure they're all there? Or do I just take a chance? Ooh, is there a price There's on it? no price on it. Just so, bag. right? Hmm. That's strange. Somebody ripped the price off, obviously. I'm looking around to see if it's sitting here on the shelf somewhere loose that we could take up there, but it's not. So, you know what? I'm putting it in the cart. We'll see how much it is. Oh, ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hello. Elephants. Oh, they're curtain rod holders. Yeah. Look at that. Don't be broken. Don't be broken. Oh, he's a little, he's got a little bit of paint missing right there, but that's not a big deal. Those are pretty spectacular. How much are you? So they'd be $5. So it'd be $10 for the pair. I'm pretty sure that's, that's at least $25 to $30 right there. I'm, I'm putting those in the cart. All right, I just pu I pulled this off the shelf. Uh, Mikey scanned it for me, and there's only there's two listed, fifty bucks and ninety bucks. This one is brand new in the box. It's thirteen. Now I do get a little bit of a discount. I get twenty percent off here, so that's that's pretty cool. So it's like ten bucks for this item. Uh, so I'm going to take a chance on that because that's easy to ship, believe it or not, even though it's big, because it's already boxed up. It's already ready to go. Uh, and then there's two more up on the shelf here that I'm going to take a closer look at because globes are one of those things that, you know, the right ones can bring some really good money. So let's check out if these are the right ones. Okay, I pulled them down and took a look. They're both newer. And one of the ways you can tell the age of a globe is the countries that change over time. So. These are more contemporary globes. Don't bring as much money. I'm going to leave those. What do we got here? A little, little baggie of dish towels. 
That's what we got there. I guess this would be like their craft, crafty area. I have a squeaky cart. <laughs> How did I pick? I guess I got the, the lucky squeaky cart this time. Oh well, it's finding me good stuff, so we're all good. I don't see anything else here in the office goodies that I need. All right, I do look at the baskets. A lot of people accuse me of not looking at the baskets. I do look at the baskets. Um, I generally don't pick too many baskets up though, because it's just not really my thing. If I found a very high-end basket, I probably would pick it up. But that doesn't happen too often. I'm not sure why that's a thing with little things in it, but... There you go. And there you go. I see fish. Yeah. I don't know what this fishy does or is for, but I'm going to leave it. Bulgaria is what that says. And we got a little Mickey frame. It's wood. $2.99. It's a little scratched up. A little scratched up, so we're going to leave that one. And think happy thoughts. Always. Always. Ah, that is interesting. I thought it was like, pla I can't tell if it's wood or plastic. I've got to be honest. I just, I don't know. I don't know. Says it's from Ross. Hmm? Oh, it's a little baby giraffe mask. I've got the mama giraffe mask that matches this, so I'll pick that one up too. Ooh, drive in theaters movie thing. That's cool. That is cool. The wood sections are always fun for me to shop. Oh, you know, I just picked up some of these the other day at the swap meet. Um, these are usually Limoges. These little porcelain pieces on here. Let's see, they're $3.99 each. Oh, b &S Creations New York. And it's like a Sirocco frame. I'll go ahead and pick those up. Sure I will. Mikey, do you have a man cave where uh, only authorized persons can go? No, my whole house is a man cave and yeah. no one's allowed. <laughs> <laughs> if you come knocking on my door, I am not friendly. <laughs> these are metal. I thought these were wood at first. They're not, they're metal. It's a pear and an apple. Kind of interesting. But you know what? My cart's getting pretty full. I'm, I'm gonna use a little discipline like like Mikey does. I I think that's like the fullest I've seen your cart this I early know, in the shopping I know, trip. I know. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna show some discipline. I'm I'm gonna leave the apple and the pear. Oh, we've got. Oh, it's all one piece. Why is there like a dragon dude behind the horse? Is he trying to scare him? Or is he trying to scare the little kid that gets on the uh, carousel horse? Oh look, we got a glare from the light outside. It's, it's kind of interesting. Um, let's see. Plays the carousel waltz. What makes you? Made in Taiwan. So it is vintage. It was $52 originally. It feels like it might not be working anymore though, but we're gonna give it a look. Huh. It actually still works. But I think, I don't know if he was supposed to go up and down. He's, um, there's something not working right on him, I think. How is he? Or is that a mouse turd? I don't know. All right, we're just, we're gonna leave that for, for someone else. We're just gonna, we're gonna pass right on by that. 
see what else we got under here. Oh! Here's something a little happier. He's like a pomander. Oh, he's half price. He's only $2. All right, we'll get you. I see something possibly mid-century, or is it a reproduction? It's always the question to be asked these days, but I can tell you <laughs> that one is a reproduction. Some pretty uh, stocking holders. Oh, crosses. We're in the metal section now. Um, papa. I don't think these are that old. Kind of cool with the little thumb. Little impressions. Oh, there's more of you. You guys all be together. I was kind of looking at this piece. Had some interesting lines going. Arrow. An arrow. Oh, let's see. You're kind of interesting. Not quite the kind of thing I'm looking for. I'm more into the owl cookie jars. But you can see here, it's a very low end cookie jar, probably 15 to $20. So I'm gonna leave that because of the size. A little much to deal with. Come in, sit down, relax, converse. Our house doesn't always look like this. Sometimes it's even worse. <laughs> and then this one is kitchen closed on account of illness. I'm sick of cooking. Those are just fun. I think I'm going to pick those up. <laughs> if I sell them, it'll be together. Oh, here's another little painted. Uh, they, it's a little mining tray. This one's really, really small though. It, they, these come from Alaska. I think for a $2.99, we'll go ahead and pick that up too. Oh, goodness, sometimes it's just hard to be picky. It's just hard when there's such good stuff on the shelf. Like a little cork, Chinese little diorama, and these sell really well. I'm trying to see the damage, how bad the damage is. Because see, there's like a piece up here. So I'm looking to see where that came off of. If it's anywhere significant in the piece, it doesn't appear to be. So for $2.99, we'll pick that up too. This is their bathroom goodies. You never know, they might throw like a glossy baby over here. Actually, they could throw all kinds of things over here. You just never know. So you gotta look, you gotta look everywhere. Treat stands, piece of art. I see this, um, this yarn. Some of these yarns can be quite expensive. You know, sometimes uh, Carrie picks these up. $2.99, and $2.99. Not sure about those, but I do know this is a vintage color. Uh, so I will pick this one up for $1.99 and probably take that to my mom. See if there's any more of that because that's a... Uh, oh, there's another. Nope, that one is not the same. Oh, that's a really awful feeling yarn right there. This is some baby yarn depending who makes this one? This is loops and threads. Mm, nope. I don't think that's one of the really good ones either. All right. I think that's about it here. All right. Kitchen stuff, not really my gig. So I cruise right by this stuff pretty quickly. That's kind of a fun crock pot though. But nope, we're going to pass it on by. Ooh kitties. They are very, very lightweight. Very cheaply made, unfortunately. We'll leave those. 
Sorry, that light is blasting through there, so it's hard to see better if I come down to these aisles or these rows down here. Shelves, shelves, that's the word I was looking for. This is a piece of fake coral decor. A lot of the home goods and stuff sells these. They can do pretty good still, even this. Um, the more natural do better, like the white that actually looks like the coral. $4.99, not a bad price for that, but I'm gonna leave that for somebody else. Look at, ooh, that's a real bonsai. I, that's living, that's, ooh, I just stuck myself. <laughs> I thought it was fake, and you know, I've got a touch. I've got to figure it out. I'm kind of sad for the little bonsai now. You know I'm wanting to rescue this and fix him and heal him, because this might still grow, right? I could maybe save him and he's got he's missing his fishing pole oh my goodness my goodness I just I want to rescue this okay he's $7.99 he's coming home with me that's interesting PBG China it's got an etched flower on it Let's see if there's anything exciting in here Hmm, cool little tin, Murray, Murray Allen, don't know Murray Allen, a little piece of art pottery, okay, nice piece of glass but it's not so nice when I get my hands on it very lightweight mm -hmm. nothing else here oh let's take a little journey down the plastics anything exciting in the plastics today you look for those bodum things in the plastics that is not one Bodum, good brand in the old coffee, the French coffee press. A balloon? Are we going to pump balloons up? That might be fun. Technology for I'm kind of old fashioned. I still blow them up with my breath. Ooh, Broncos. Got some Broncos in the house. I have a feeling that, uh, remember that hot flash stuff we found earlier? Yes. That was like a wife that was cleaning things out and a lot of this football stuff probably i'm just saying she probably definitely was you know a yeah, yeah. let some things uh, go <laughs> uh, hitch thing. Ooh, Sen sennheiser is a good brand what are these doing over here oh. Oh. <laughs> i'm just dropping stuff everywhere these are worth looking up because I, I know that's a good brand. For sure. I, I like know it, it is. Now. It was like on the stand or something. Yes. Like that. Sennheiser is a, I mean, I, you know, from my musician days, I remember that brand as being pretty high end. Pretty high end. All right. Coffee mug time. Let's see what we got. Lefties. It's a lefties cup. Why is there a hole oh, in it? Because you have to be lefty. If you're a righty, you're going to go down. Or the coffee is going to go down. Oh, but that's just mean. Uh, <laughs> that's just mean. <laughs> is that why I like it so much? I probably. <laughs> I'm uncovering Snoopy back here. Snoop. We got Dr. Snoopy. My mug. It's a Dr. Snoopy. Let's see. It's be old. 19. Well, you know, that's just the, um, that's when Peanuts was wow. licensed. So I don't know what year the mug is, but... It's pretty old. It looks like it's got some age on it. It doesn't have a price again, so hopefully they're good to us up it's, at the checkout. Not, uh... Oh, it's got a little... Oh. The handle is... You're right. The handle's coming off. Darn it! That's weird. Yeah, it's just like a bad, really bad chip right in there. Gosh darn it. Why? Why, why, why? Oh. James Madison News. Mikey just a, found a Heathcliff. Hot shot. Hot shot Heathcliff. That's pretty cool. Wow, Heathcliff is old. Yeah. He's a, yeah, that's a, that's a goodie. Yeah. That's a vintage. Made in Japan. <laughs> I think I see Eeyore. 
good morning. If it is a good morning, which I doubt. <laughs> oh, Eeyore, what are we going to do with you? All right, $1.99. I'm going to grab that one too. Oh, oh look at I found. Oh, yes, I just boy. saw the little head poking up there. I don't even care how much. Look at he's been here a while. He's only two dollars. He's half price. He's mine. Okay, I keep passing this one by, but I guess I need to look at it. Nice big heavy pottery mug, but uh, I'm just not feeling it. I'm not. I'm not feeling it. I mean, I am, but <laughs> okay, that was cheesy. But this, uh. This is pre-Raydun magenta. So now I'm gonna look this up. Well, this is a dilemma because I can't I can't find this mug. I can't find this mug. It's a nice mug. It's not like anything super like I don't know. You can find it. You are an amazing mug. I think I'm gonna. I know I'm gonna pass it. I'm gonna pass it. Discipline, discipline. Yeah, I'm try I got a full cart. I'm gonna try. I, you know, Mikey, Mikey has a good effect on me. I try to like just be a little bit more conservative when it comes to uh, buying too much stuff. Two cups. Oh, it's a measuring cup. It's kind of. It's just core kitchen. It's nothing. Nothing too exciting. Ooh. Oh, it's in edibles. I thought the cup was edible. I, <laughs> <laughs> it's an edible Have you ever gotten an edible arrangement? I got one for Mother's Day. It's quite nice. Yeah, they are. Flowers, yeah, they flowers are. Die and, and you get to eat and enjoy the food. I kind of like flowers, though. I, I, I'm i still a flower fan. Yeah, yeah I'm, a, I'm a big dude. I like food. <laughs> <laughs> I like any gift because it's yeah, always it's the true. thought that counts. Ooh. Kitties! I found kitties. These are Let's Dine stoneware. They're all wearing glasses. They're all wearing glasses, which is super adorable. I haven't figured out how much they are yet. I gotta find out. They are $6.99. I do really well with sets of glasses like this, so uh, we're gonna get the kitties. Are you finding gurus over there? Yeah. Right is it is it guru <laughs> is it guru or is it goo? No, guru. I'm oh. kidding. Oh. You put the goo on. The, never mind. <laughs> my joke. You know, Carrie laughs at all my jokes, whether they're funny or not. Mike, come on, come on. Oh, it's always sunrise somewhere. It's kind of a nice. It is feeling heavy. It is. Yeah, it's it's. Oh, it feels like restaurant wear. Yeah. yeah. What are you doing holding on to this? Uh, that's what I said. That's and heavy. Gurus, it's made for like charity or something. Guru, huh. The Guru Foundation. I'm going to check out the Guru Foundation. You should check it out. As I check out these little glasses, I don't think, I don't think they're that great. I mean, they might be vintage, but they're not that great, even if they're vintage. I don't know. If you think they're great, I'm not, I'm not trying to offend. They're just, as I feel them, as I have them in my hand, they're just... They don't, they don't tickle my fancy. Like, and I like the stacked mugs, but I'm just, I'm gonna leave those. I'd rather go with the kitties. All right. I guess somebody left their cart right there and I just have to like push it out of the way. I'm pushing it out of the way. <laughs> this is a Sandra, I can never say that last name, Maximin. I've sold some figurines that were by her. This is plastic, so I don't know how much value that has. Super cute, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave that. See if we can find anything really high end. I do like that. I wish there was a few of those. You know, like four. <laughs> hmm. I don't see anything else in the glasses. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. And maybe we'll look at this. Oh, very lightweight. Oh, has no weight to it whatsoever. All right. 
all I see is this modern farmhouse turkey collection, and I want to see what it is. I have to clear clear some stuff up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hello. You are so cool. Five ninety nine. Let's see who makes you. Don't you? Oh, darn it. It's not. It's not gonna happen because it's got that, but. I did want to see. It's a Lane and Company. Oh, he's so vintage. He's 1959. This is breaking my heart right now. He's got a big old chippy right there. Oh, man. I almost still want to save him. I know. I can put him in my booth, you know, and at least get him into a home and give him a happy retirement. All right. I'm going to do it. Well, that was kind of a anticlimactic moment. It's just a white platter. <laughs> like, that turkey does look good though, doesn't it? All right. Did you even get over and look at the shirts yet, Mikey? Heading, heading to the shirts soon. Oh, let's see what you are. Really pretty, but I see that it had like a UPC code on it, so I know it's not like super old or anything. I do love the, I love the sunflower plates. Those are Pure One Imports sunflower blooms. Oh, Pure One. Mm -mm -mm. I'm torn. I'm torn, guys. I don't really want to ship them, but that seems like a really good deal for some really beautiful Pier 1 plates. Okay, I'm going to get them. Okay, let's see what you are. You look like you are restaurant wear, and you feel like you are restaurant wear. Oh my goodness. You are Royal China Jeanette Corporation Sunset Pattern. I do believe those are vintage restaurant wear, but I'm not sure. And I'm going to leave those because a little bigger and heavier. That's a cool piece. Hmm. Can't tell how vintage that is though, just from touching it. I mean, it's the repros are getting better and better. That's Lou Ray pastels. I've done really good with this brand, but unfortunately this one also has a big chip, so we have to leave that one. I tend to find that with chips in it. It must chip fairly easy, which is too bad because it's a really cool pattern. This is more of that kind of ice looking textured bar <clears throat> barky pattern, but I'm gonna leave it this time. I'm gonna leave it this time. And look at the glass starfish dishes. These are Akam, which I believe is made in Turkey. Yes, they are. They want $10 for a set of four. I've actually sold these in my booth for $10 each. Um, so I think I'm going to pick those up because they're brand spanking new. Okay. Getting to the end of all of the... Uh, plates and such hoping for some more mid-century pieces since we've already found some and found these little candle holders pretty but i don't know who makes them i do like them though those, those have a really nice look and a really nice feel how much are you 6.99 mm, i don't know I'm gonna leave them. I may regret that, but I'm gonna leave them. All right, this could be my chance to find that item that uh, goes with the little honey jar. Remember that from earlier? If the bottom of the honey jar is here, I can go back and grab that. That's got a big old crystal on it. It's a wine stopper. It's kind of cool. I've really been learning about all the different crystals and stones through my friend Natika, who does her, her, she, she does like Facebook lives every Friday night. And I have gotten like some amazing pieces from her at really amazing prices. So I have like these beautiful stones and crystals and towers and 
um, all around my house now. I love them so much. That's glass. That's heavy. It's cool. It's vintage. <gasps> oh, I'm torn because I love this. Oh, I love it, but I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. going to leave it. going to leave it. That's a it's tough. It's tough. It's tough being disciplined. I don't like it. I don't like it sometimes, but I do have to do it. You know, I know a lot of people go, you, you don't need to. I, I do. I really, 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 really do. Um, or I will get too overwhelmed with stuff to deal with at the moment and then when I you know get through more stuff and I free up some more space then I can come out and have a little less discipline <laughs> but for now I gotta gotta watch myself because um I've kind of told you this before I'm working on a super super big project super super big so that is taking a lot of my time I would normally spend on processing and doing other things. Look at that spoon rest. Goodness. It's kind of scary. All right. I think we're not going to find the piece that goes with the little honeybee thing. It's okay. Look at this little enamel butter dish. Now that is cool. I like it. I'm gonna grab that for $2.99. Now I see this thing over here that says Fairy Glen. I think I've sold these before. It does not feel like it's in there though. This feels like an empty box. Let me check it out. That is definitely an empty box. Too bad. Another cool little piece that's vintage, but it is also very chipped. Bison brew root beer cream soda stout. Hmm. Oh, it's a uh, it's an Odie dog dish. He's pretty scratched up. Pretty scratched up. Mitsuba. That's what that says. All right, I don't think we're gonna find anything else here in this section. All right, we're gonna hit the art right away. This pulled me. That looks really vintage, but it's missing. It used to have glass on it. It's missing the glass. It's in pretty rough shape, unfortunately, because it's pretty retro and cool, but we have to be sensible. We have to be sensible. How cute is he? Look at that little boy with the fishing. I think it's just like the the default picture in with his frame. But that's really cute. I'm not digging too hard in here. Let's see what the dog rules are though. If I like it, it's mine. If it's in my mouth, it's mine. If I can take it from you, it's mine. If it looks like mine, it's mine. If it's mine, it will never be yours. If I saw it first, it's mine. If you have something and put it down, it's mine. If I choose something up, all of the pieces are mine. If it's if it used to be yours, get over it. If it's broken, it's yours. <laughs> oh goodness, somebody gave that as a gift. That's pretty funny. It's pretty funny. It's kind of true, too. I, I, uh, that's the sad part. Peanut literally shakes her head no <laughs> when, when I uh, try to take a ball or something from her. If you're not riding the wave of change, you'll find yourself beneath it. Ooh, that's good. I like that. That's going on my desk. Oh, goodness. Look at the Great Danes. Ugh, one of my favorite breeds of dogs. I wish, I wish, I wish I could house a Great Dane right now. And then we have, oh, this is a Karen Terrier, right? Right? Do I have that right? He's pretty cute. For $3.99. Hmm, got to find somebody who owns a Karen Terrier, though. I think I can do it. I think I can find that person. All right, I see. Underneath here... Somebody's little needle point. Oh no, it's that beading. It's that, oh, what do they call that? I have a friend who does this. I forget what it's called. Look, 
at those sloths. They are pretty awesome. There's a lot of work in that. A lot of work in that piece. I'm going to save that. Two dollars. I can do it. And let's see if there's any other goodies buried under here. This frame is catching my attention. But it's pretty modern. Alright. I'm not going to I'm not going to dig too hard. I just don't have it in me today. There's probably some more gems in here. Like, oh wait, what are you? Oh, I see glass. I always have to pull out the glass. Oh, just says friends. All right, I think we're done in this part. All right, one quick jaunt through the larger art pieces. This is a cute piece. It is 1983 Bev Civils. Yeah, that's definitely got some age on it. I'm going to rescue that one for $3.99 also. And then I'm trying to figure out the artist on this one. Uh, it's very, very quaint, I guess would be the word that comes to mind. Look at the little bulldog sitting there. There is the artist K. K. Lamb something. K. G. Lamb. All right one of those mysteries for $3.99 I gotta take home and figure out. I just found a Scentsy. Look at it is new in the package. It's Twinkle. I had to open and take a look. So uh, this one is $7.99 I think. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. I'll put a little screenshot of what it actually looks like because I don't want to take it all out of the box but I think that's a good pickup. We're gonna get it. They have this whole section here that's stuff that's in its original packaging. Some of it's old, some of it's new. So you really just have to kind of look closely and see if there's anything that is something you're looking for. This is where I found the Scentsy in its package. And then they have lots of lamps, but nothing super exciting. So I think I'm safe from any temptations in the lamps today. Beanie babies, anyone? Beanie babies? There's quite a few of them here. I'm kind of sad that they don't really have any value because I kind of love them. I do love them. Rachel actually has a few special ones that she has in her room that she loves. But yeah, for resale, they're not, they're not so great. Not there. I mean, there's probably a few very rare, very special ones, but for the most part, you gotta stay away from the Beanie Babies. Holy smokers, this store has a lot, a lot of purses. This one's catching my eye. I'm always looking for Loungefly brand. That's not, definitely not. Who's that lion? Incline. Incline? Oh, Ancline. Ancline, of course, the lion. Like, isn't that sad that a man had to just tell me that? Goodness. Well, that's because his wife is a fashionista. That's how he knows these things. Super court. Super court. Mikey's wife, who has started her own channel, by the way, is doing fashiony stuff on her channel. If that's your thing, go check it out. It's just called Super, Super Court. Yeah. Super court. Go check out the Super Court. That's uh, S U P E R C O R T. You found another Betsy? I think it's the third one I found. I think it's the third one I'm passing up. Oh, why? Well, I don't know. Why are you passing Betsy up? It's not. It's not yeah, it's, it's kind of and it's worn out. Yeah. yeah. I like the Betsy's that kind of like spark joy with bows and pretty colors and. Yes. Well, beware to the right. There's other Betsy's that that spark a little joy, but they're they got problems too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, this is my cart full. It's it's not as bad as it looks because this takes up so much room. Normally this would all be in here. I got some small stuff. I am safe. I'm going to I'm I love bringing stuff back to life. So, I'm going to see if I can bring this poor little guy back to life. Got some art, got some cool stuff. I'm going to go check out. Stay tuned for the recap. I'm going to tell you everything that I bought, what I paid, 
and how much it's worth on eBay. I look up every item and give you actual sold comps so that when you're out and about, you can kind of have a general idea what things are worth. All right, let's go get checked out. super fun. Lots of turtles. Always a good day when you find lots of turtles. Didn't do too bad. When all was said and done, I really didn't buy as much as I thought was in the cart because it was a lot of big things. So it took up a lot of space in the cart. So I feel pretty good. feel pretty good about that. Got to meet some of my viewers, which I always love doing. So shout out to you guys. You know who you are. Thank you so much for coming over and saying hi. Always happy to do that. Uh, I mean, always always happy to talk to you and and say hi uh so with that i am heading over to savers and we're gonna see what is over there now you won't see that on this video that is gonna be on the next one so make sure you have hit the subscribe button and the little bell notification so that you know when i upload that next video and when i go live I'm thinking about doing some little pop-up lives here and there. So you definitely want to hit the notification bell so you know when that happens. All right, I'm heading out to Savers. You go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one.